Yes. When I dug a hole, I found a treasure that's treasure is boing. It drinks boing. It sounds, it, it's so fun, I'll never give it to anything. That's an item that we are going to acquire later in the game. I'm not trying to give away too many spoilers. But pretty much everybody knows about it, but the people who don't know and are looking to play this game, I'm not trying to spoil anything for it. Actually, I'm glad it turned night drink because now we can get some sculptures. Some one over here. This little stack of bricks here. Sling shot and shoot him. Makes nine sculptures. And in town is actually the reason why we need sculptures. And I'll do that after I get our temple. Ten here. Here on this little tower here on the ladder. The next twelve. There's something I want to do when I get to the top of this tower. I know. It's a little complicated, but I'll show you how to do it. What? Only got 88 more to go. Now, see this guy down here. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to come back here later in the game and talk to him. He'll give you a piece of heart. But the only way to get there is to uh, bring yourself there. But if you if you get in the right direction and you backflip, I don't remember. Okay, it's not backflip. You have to sidestep. You have to sidestep off the tower and hopefully you'll land on a fence and then you can uh, walk your way to the roof and you'll talk to him and you'll get the piece of heart. And I have done it, so it is possible. Space right there. Jump. Ah, there we go. Climb up there. On the roof, and here we go. Fuck this dude. Hey, good to see you again. I'll give you this as a memento. Got a piece of heart. And now what he means by good to see you again is actually kind of a spoiler, but it's foreshadowing. I'll go into detail later of that uh, in the game. What else was I gonna do? Well, I guess I don't have anything else to do, so... Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember. I skipped something in the graveyard. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> There's an item that we can get in the graveyard. And also a heart piece in the graveyard that I forgot, too. I'm just forgetting everything, man. Forgetting for every you're forgetting everything, man. Let us go back to the graveyard. Go over here and pull this uh, tombstone. There's a hole in the ground. Let's go to the hole. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. No, go in the hole. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Seriously. Drop. Thank you. Here's the treasure. Also, there's a, a wall in the back we can destroy, but not yet. We get the highly shield, which is basically a bigger shield. We can't use that, actually use that as a regular shield, like the Decker shield. Uh, the way that we use it is to, like, a crouch. It's kind of like a turtle uh, shell, in a way. We're not going to use that yet. We're going to head back out. At the top of the graveyard is another grave that I want to pull. And I think it's this one. Yep, it's this one. No, go down. There we go. Ah, here it is. Now, the thing about the red is you can't shoot them. They don't you hear shield sound, so don't try to shoot them. 
nothing to hide. Don't look at him face, go start with the thing. Alright, he's dead, baby. Alright, now, I'm back up here and play the sun song. And we get a chest! This is actually a piece of heart. This will give us part piece number three. Oh, that's two. I'm sorry. I'm losing my mind here. Now I'm going to go and show you what the purpose of the skull tools are. Which is a very interesting explanation for it. So let's just go see what the fuss is about about these Skulltulas. Skulltuna. Tuna. A tuna. Skulltuna. Skulltuna sandwich. Over this house. Oh, there's no Skulltula here. I forgot about this guy. Next 13. Favorite number. Ironically. 13th of my favorite number. Let's go in this house. House of Skulltool. Basically, this guy looks fancy. Every 10 Skulltulias skull you collect will give you a reward. All the way up to 50, and after 50, it stops for now. And once you get 100, you get a reward, which is actually... I'm not gonna see what it is. We got the adult swap, so now, instead of holding 99 rupees, we can hold up to 200, which is really gonna help. And I think that's all we can do here for now. Yes, it is. Now we're gonna see if we can go all the way up to Death Mountain. Actually, there's another heart piece I can get. I take, I'll need 110 rupees to get it, because I think it costs 150. Because you have to buy it from a Deku Scrub. We need 150 rupees to get it. I think it's 150. Talk to this dude over here. This guy is Zelda's letter, and he'll let you through. This is Saburo. It's under my orders to save my rule. Mr. Hero. Waha ha ha ha. I love how Link just keeps looking at him holding the letter like, you gonna take this thing, man? I already have, I already have one, pal. So basically what it means is that if you go back to town, there's a, a shop there where you can actually buy the shaman shop that we got earlier in the graveyard. Originally it's 80 rupees, but I'll lower it down to 60, I think. Either 60 or 50, I don't know. No, I have not. <laughs> I 
I can tell, like, I hate Mondays. Especially there's a, a, a mask quest in this game where you go to town and you can buy a mask and you can get the people. And, uh, I don't think the mask have any other role uh, in the game. It doesn't matter now. Welcome to Death Mountain Trail. We aren't exactly on Death Mountain yet. You got the tech tights here. Very classic sort of enemy. It's basically the excuse for a spider. Except they have four legs instead of eight. Alright. Can you guys There's a thing here. There's a school tool. I'm gonna get to it, man. I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. You get it, I'm gonna shoot bubbles, I'm gonna shoot bubbles up your nose, gonna make you go away. That's just annoying, I'm sorry. Yeah. 